the goalie. 61 years ago, a soccer team from St. Louis shocked the world. Five of the players on the American side were from St. Louis. Gino Periani, Harry Keogh, Frank Pee Wee Wallace, Charlie Colombo, and the goalie of the team, a minor league baseball player, Frank Borgie. The team went to Brazil for the World Cup with little training and no prospect of winning. The U.S. didn't have a chance, according to the experts. Oddsmakers listed the U.S. as 500 to 1 underdogs. The U.S. played Spain in their first game. They led 1 0 until late in the game, but lost 3 1. Up next was England, the best team in the world and favored to win the championship. Borgie said he hoped he could hold them to three or four goals. He was severely tested when England took six shots on goal in the first 12 minutes, but the game was still scoreless until Joe Cajuns scored on a diving header late in the first half. The crowd expected the Brits to hammer the upstart Americans in the second half, but Borgie and his teammates held strong and turned aside one attack after another. With eight minutes left, Borgie made a spectacular save on a free kick to preserve the 1-0 victory for the U.S. A win still called the biggest upset in World Cup history. A recent movie, Game of Their Lives, told the story. Frank and the 1950 team have been inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame, and tonight we're proud to induct Frank Borgie into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame.